I'm trying to trust the process. This is not what I expected. It looks fantastic. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new room makeover and welcome to our entryway. Way back when I first saw this house online, just photos of it, this hallway was immediately the first place that I had just decorated in my mind. You know how sometimes that happens when you're looking for houses, how you just instantly decorate them in your mind? This room. This room did that for me. When we actually came to view the house, when we walked in here, that was just solidified. I knew exactly what this room needed and it was just perfect for that vision that I had in mind of my perfect entryway. It is one of the first rooms that we stripped where we took off the wallpaper, we took down the banisters on the stairs, we sanded those, just stripped this room completely bare and it is one of the last ones that we're building back up so it has looked dire <laughs> for a while now. So I was very very ready to get started and get this room finished. We wanted to wait until all of the furniture was moved upstairs so that we you know, wouldn't run the risk of bumping into the walls and you know, ruining any um, new pretty things that we did there. So now is finally the time and we finally got around to doing the entryway. Entryways are often wasted potential. It's a space where you only stay for short periods of time. It is the first place, the first thing you see when you enter a home. So I feel like you can do a little bit more and be a little bit more extreme with your entryway. And I really wanted to do that in this house. So I really wanted to go for a full-blown English cottage style. I don't want to hold you here too long. Let's just dive straight into this makeover process. Let's do a little tour of the current situation. So right here next to the front door is our electrical cabinet. Yeah, you know, your standard house owner stuff. <laughs> but it doesn't currently close because these two things ended up outside of it somehow and the cables obviously need to go somewhere. So that is a priority to put all of that back in there. This needs to close. <laughs> so that is the first step. Then we have this wall uh, where we kind of removed the wallpaper, kind of didn't. Yeah. Um, so that obviously, <laughs> that obviously needs to be tackled. Then here we have a radiator that we don't currently use because this has underfloor heating. So we have a shoe cabinet in front of it, um, which we took from our previous home, which was left there by the previous owners of that place. So yeah, this just has our shoes. We're probably going to keep this because it's useful and it looks pretty nice and it's going to fit with the final design. So next to that we have another shoe cabinet and you may remember if you watched my moving vlogs that this used to be in the kitchen. So we've kept this because more shoe storage is better obviously. Um, I tried to replace the knobs and one of the mirrors broke so I stopped replacing the knobs. So two are nice and black fit with the style of our knobs in the rest of the house and the rest is just the old ones. <laughs> But this is gonna go because it's too big and doesn't fit with the design I have in mind. So that's gonna go upstairs into the guest room and we can still use it for shoe storage there. Also bags on top of it, not the best look. Um, then here of course is our downstairs bathroom and then here under the stairs we have our coat rack and shoe storage and some more stuff. So this, uh, this is pretty all right. This is probably gonna go back here, the shoe storage and the coat rack, um, but it needs to obviously be organized a little bit better and just make sure that it looks nice. All of this stuff has got to go because this, first of all, doesn't work because the stairs are open and all of the dust just falls right into those bins. And secondly, this is like leftover stuff from the kitchen makeover and stuff that needs to go up on here. So that's going to go. Um, then uh, we still haven't replaced our stair railings, so that is obviously a priority so that people can safely walk up and down the stairs. This part of the wood is going to be painted green. It's going to be the same shade of green that we have in the powder room here. Wait, let me show you. It's this kind of sage green. So that's gonna go on everything that is pink and gold now. So that includes the electrical cabinet as well as all of this. Everything that is now cream is gonna be white. So we're gonna have to repaint all of the wood. Then we got this bench here that is perfect for putting on your shoes and stuff like that and also has storage. So in here I want to store all of our kind of winter stuff. 
I already started with that a little bit, but that needs to be better, of course. The previous owners had a curtain in front of the door to stop the draft, which we're gonna leave until we buy a new front door, which isn't gonna be just yet. So we're leaving the curtain for now. Here we have the wallpaper. It's gonna go on the wall here. Absolutely cannot wait. This is one of the first things I bought right after we moved in or maybe even before we moved in here. Absolutely adore that. Great that our groceries come in. We usually keep it by the front door because this is where the groceries are delivered and then the crates are picked up. So I'm gonna have to find a solution for that so that they're not in view as much. But yeah, that is the current situation. I cannot wait to get started. It's gonna look so good once it is done. It's a fairly spacious entryway, but I feel like it needs, it needs more, it deserves more. <laughs> so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is take everything out. Now that all of the wallpaper is stripped and I've filled any little holes and imperfections, I think the next step is to start sanding. And I'm probably gonna start sanding this wall because this wall is gonna be wallpaper, so it doesn't need to be perfect, but it is a little flaky in some places. And I think it's just a little bit too flaky, especially up there. You can literally see the little bits of paint are all 3D there, so that's gonna be a problem. In the spirit of working from the top to the bottom, I'm gonna start by slightly sanding the walls, and then I'm gonna sand all of the wood. And that way um, I won't be sanding while anything else, you know, while paint is drying anywhere. So, okay, wow, it's become really echoey in here now that everything is out. But yeah, if I manage to sand everything before lunch, then maybe I can already start painting this afternoon which would be fantastic because I'm gonna need a lot of time for this wallpapering. If the time it took us to wallpaper the bedroom is any indication then that is gonna take a full week. <laughs> wallpapering is difficult, it's difficult. Okay let's start sanding.
definitely gonna need a second coat, but oh my gosh, the difference is huge. This is gonna be so good. I have two layers of this grayish green color on the wood now and it's looking very cool um, as in cold a bit cool toned it's time to warm this up a little so I'm gonna paint that wall and this wall in this lovely grayish beige I guess this is more or less the background of the wallpaper as well so a very light brown shade I guess um, a grayish <laughs> and I think that that's gonna warm this up a lot and make it match to the floor a little bit better and hopefully the carpet on the staircase as well I'm trying to trust the process, but that is just straight up gray and it makes this look turquoise. <laughs> oh my gosh! I, this is not what I expected. It's not, and I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm PMSing at the moment and dissatisfied with everything, but I'm not feeling it if I'm honest. I'm just confused because the colors look so different on that wall than they do on the testers and in the tin. I don't know, I, I do think I only tested them in the light and uh, like this bit under the stairs is very shady, <laughs> shaded. So it, it's coming out very different. I'm not loving it so far, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the wallpaper, hold it up to the walls and the wood and see how that goes together and if I still hate it then I might just go ahead and repaint right away but <laughs> if it's good then I'm gonna keep going. Also these are obviously still drying so it might change a little bit but let's see, let's see what we have. Fingers crossed. Okay that actually does work. <laughs> it does work. I like this. Uh, this is a good match. That fits. And this is not an exact color match, but it does work. So the only thing I might do, if this still looks too bright in the end, I might just repaint the green wood. But I think the wall color is fine. Let's see under the stairs. Okay, I think this might still work out. Look at this though. This is supposed to be the same color, and this does prove it, ultimately, that this is not the same color. <laughs> it's not this, it's much more blue. Than this. I used the same color code and everything, so this should have been the exact same color, but it is not. We have decided I'm getting this color mixed right now and it's going over because this is just not working. I'm still convinced it's not the same color as the one in the bathroom. Maybe it's the type of paint because there, of course, I use tile paint. I have a tester of this shade in wall paint, but this is wood paint. So I'm gonna go for this much warmer. It's gonna go much better with the uh, carpet on the stairs as well and I hope that this will just warm everything up because with this being just pastel turquoise and this coming out as grey it's not working so we're gonna have to warm it up a little bit Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> this was a very good decision. This goes so much better. It agrees much better with the shade of the stair carpet. It is very clearly green and no longer 
turquoisey blue and it's just yes this is good i'm excited this i can work with goes with the wallpaper as well so i think next up i'm actually gonna start wallpapering because when the wallpaper is up i will have a better idea of whether we want to keep this color because we're still not sure it did try much more nicely than the way it looked yesterday and it goes with the green more nicely as well but we're thinking maybe a touch more like a touch warmer would be better because it's still pretty cool and actually it dried down slightly purplish so yeah we're still not certain of that so i think i'm just gonna do the wallpaper first see how that pulls everything together then i'll decide whether i want to do a second coat of this or go back to the store and buy a different color paint again i am very nervous wallpapering upstairs was not my favorite thing to do and it was pretty difficult but oh and i'm alone today so <laughs> this better go well fingers crossed for me but i'm ready let's do it Hello friends, many days have passed since I last spoke to you, but take a look at this. The wallpaper is on, it took forever, literally days, I think maybe like four days. <laughs> it was hard, I used up every single bit of wallpaper that I had. I had to patch some bits and then um, piece some bits together, but you can't really tell, it's okay. And it looks fantastic, I am very, very happy with this paint choice. It was definitely worth the extra trouble um, to change it into this warmer green. It's still a fairly cool toned green. It still fits with my vision, but it's just, it's not blue or turquoise. <laughs> it's a nice color and it works so well with the wallpaper. Love how everything came together. I had um, enough wallpaper actually to do that wall as well, which I wasn't planning on doing. I was gonna paint that a uh, slightly lighter shade of this. But now that it's on, I love that I was able to do that because it's just, it flows more nicely, I think, in the house. Now that this is here, that color works much better as well, so we're keeping that. Um, I think it, it's, a, it's a good match for the wallpaper. And just, oh, I love it. It's changing the whole vibe of not just the hallway, but the entire house, because it's so different from what was here before. I absolutely cannot wait to start decorating, but I'm not at that stage quite yet. Because now that the wallpapering is done, there is still a little bit of painting left to do. I have to um, go over that wall once more with this gray shade, this one as well, because when I was painting, a bit of wall came, just fell out, out here, which was weird, but I patched that so I need to go over this as well. I completely forgot to do the bit around the front door, so I need to paint that as well. And then I will have to do all of the white wood. So this bit right here, uh, we've decided to paint the outer edges white. Here you can see the previous green color. I'm very, very glad we went for this. But um, that's gonna be white, this is gonna be white. It's currently a cream, so it's gonna be a little bit brighter. And then all of those bits around the stairs as well, so I'm gonna have to paint all of that white. But once that wood is painted, then I'll finally be ready to start adding back all the furniture and start decorating. And I'm ridiculously excited to start decorating because that's gonna make everything come together and just make it look fantastic. So, oh, I can't wait. But already I am so excited and it's exactly what I was hoping for. It's coming together really well. So, yay, let's keep going.
banisters are growing outside and I think it's time to start bringing back some furniture. It is done, it is finished, the entryway is finished, and it is everything that I hoped for. This is exactly what I had in mind when we moved in here, um, exactly what I hoped for, and I am so glad that everything worked out so perfectly. I feel like the space has become very inviting and warm. It's different, it's definitely more outspoken than the rest of our interiors, well except for maybe the bedroom. It's very themed and styled but I feel like it works, it just it works so well with this space. It really kind of sets the mood 
for when you enter the house. I'm very glad that we were able to maintain all of the functionalities of the hallway or the main entryway and we were actually able to add a few more like for example this bench here that is a perfect place to put on your shoes but also I have all of our winter gear inside so our hats and gloves and scarves. And there are extra hooks on the wall here for guests to hang their coats or bags or whatever on. We have plenty of shoe storage. We keep our seasonal shoes down there and the off-season shoes are up there in the other, the, the mirrored shoe cabinets. I was able to find a new place for the grocery crates. They are now right there under the stairs behind the coat rack. So out of view, but still within reach. Eventually, I'm talking years down the line, we would like to get the stairs redone um, so that they are closed. I always feel like open stairs like this are a little bit unsafe. And we would maybe like to have the whole thing closed off and create like an under the stairs closet under there. Uh, definitely not in the upcoming couple of years. For now, I absolutely love how this came together. The mirror is perfect there. I'm very happy how all the art works out in this space and it's just yeah oh, every time I walk through here I'm just so excited and happy that it all worked out and it looks so good now and this truly is the entry of my dreams I'm so 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 happy that is where I'm gonna leave you guys for this video I really hope you enjoyed coming on this journey with me for a room makeover I really really enjoyed making this video so I hope you enjoyed it as well if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more videos maybe a couple more room makeovers coming in the future if you'd like to support me through patreon there is a link in the description box below thank you so much for your support there is another video here that i think you might also enjoy you can go watch next thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you very soon in my new video bye